Number 40. What is the power of a 1 times 10 to the 2 megavolt lightning bolt having a current of 2 times 10 to the 4 amps? All right. So I'd like to start with the question it's asking about the power. So I need to know some formulas that, you know, talk about power and possibly relate then voltage maybe and current. And we have one over here on the right hand side, right? It's the formula that says that power is going to be equal to the current multiplied by the voltage. All right. Now uh, I memorized this as PIV. All right. That's the formula I memorized for power. And then all the other ones I like to derive. Ooh, don't get scared by that word. Uh, but you can memorize all of them as well. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, well, what are the units for uh, current? That's right. It would be amps. What are the units for voltage? Or for <laughs> voltage? Well, volts, right? So we got to make sure that we have all of those uh, units. If we don't, we're going to have to do a conversion. So the current they gave us was 2 times 10 to the 4 amps. That's great. So 2 times 10 to the 4 amps. I can just simply plug that in. Remember, amp is simply a coulomb per second. So they could have also given you those units as well. And then we're going to multiply that by now the voltage in volts. However, though, they gave it to us in mega volts, right? So in order to convert this into volts, all I got to simply do is take 1 times 10 to the 2 and then multiply it by 10 to the 6th, right? That's the prefix basically for the mega. And now all I need to do is basically plug it in. So 2 times 10 to the 4 multiplied by 1 times 10 to the 2 times then 10 raised to the 6th. And we get a value of 2. It's early, so got to plug that into the calculator. 2 times 10 to the 12. All right. The units for power are watts. Okay. Or in other words, you could have written it as joule per second. Doesn't matter. All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look forward to helping you with more problems. We'll see you soon. Take care.